wanted to show um, changing the filter. This is an NV200 Nissan, and their normal air filter, their oil filters are really small. This is the regular 20 micron oil filter. I have a good quality one in there, but I notice when I'm changing the oil, this is a brand new engine. I only have like 7,000 miles on the van. Oil is pretty nasty. That's pretty dark. And this is a uh, Valvoline full synthetic. And uh, so what I'm installing is I'm gonna you know keep using the 20 micron filters, but I'm putting in a diesel uh, bypass, even though this is a gasoline engine. And that one's getting put in right here in the wheel well. I can reach up change that out but that's only gonna be like every 25,000 miles that one gets changed so it's a much bigger this is a 2 micron filter and it's actually gonna be getting right off of the oil pressure sensor you can see the hose right there so it gets the full pressure from the oil and uh, it's, it's a bypass which means it just does a little trickle through it and then it ends up going back into the pan and then they recommend a little higher on the pan but as you can see I have a very shallow pan to start with now another thing on these bypass filters and uh, you want to fill these up with oil when you put a new one on there because I mean, that's almost a quart of oil that the thing holds and if you don't it didn't really say any instructions I had to kind of figure it out you're dumping all your oil pressure straight off your oil pump and if that thing is full of air you're gonna have you know zero oil pressure on your engine for a good 10 seconds or 20 seconds as long as it takes the oil pump to fill this thing up and uh, you know zero oil pressure is bad even though it's 20 seconds but startup you don't want it and um, you see the way the bypass is designed it has a small orifice for the outlet and that restricts the flow and so the inlet comes in on the outside fills up the oil filter and it goes the, on the outlet that's why they call it a bypass it just runs a trickle of oil through it and here's the new oil I'm using which I use you get a good deal on this at Walmart full synthetic it also has a new Dexos approval there here's 7,500 miles on the Nissan NV200 see the oil is still golden quality at 10,000 miles it's still golden I'm gonna pull the filters now see what they look like now notice right here just you pull a few screws a couple snap locks and it's real easy to reach the filter right there so here's the reason that I've added the bypass filter Nissan thinks that this little filter which you would see in a lawnmower is supposed to keep that work truck engine clean without opening this bypass valve which is installed on the bottom of the filter not gonna happen and look closer inspection here this was me opening the filter up it's quite clean and I could probably go more miles on this guy and then opening this one up so I tore it it's also quite clean these are going to get 20,000 miles once a year. That's about what I drive. And I'll do 10,000 miles on these. Don't forget to fill your bypass filter up with oil so you're not punishing the engine for 30 seconds as it takes to put the lubricant in this big filter.
a simple test if you want to know if your bypass filter is working you just reach down and put your hand on it and it'll feel nice and warm actually it'll get smoking hot all modern gasoline engines they remove the moisture from the oil and the way this engine does it and actually all of them is it takes fresh air from the intake this is a little oil separator to stop oil from splashing back that way it goes across the valve uh, plate and uh, where the lifters are because there's oil splashing around in there and then you have your PCV valve which is just a check valve and then normally it would just return right back to the suction side of the breather and that gets it flow so you got air continually flowing through fresh air that is and that way the oil dries out uh, just like hanging up clothes in the wind but uh, a problem with that and all car engines very few of them have oil separators on the outlet of the PCV valve and uh, there's a whole ton of aftermarket ones I added this one and it actually does pick up oil this one's nice it has a little screen on it so you can see right there do you want that oil going into your intake and just getting everything all nasty looking or do you want to add a nice little separator where you can dump it out so I started this bypass test with Valvoline full synthetic and ran it out 10,000 miles you can see the oil test at the end of the video I'm since uh, switching to AMS oil and this is the signature series it's basically the top of the line oil it's actually full synthetic other oils that claim to be full synthetic really aren't and the main reason I'm switching is I'm actually going to run the oil out to 20,000 miles now I'll probably change the little tiny filter once and then the bypass filter yeah, I'll change the tiny filter at 10,000 miles and then I'll change all the filters in the oil at 20,000 miles and the main advantage to the full synthetic from AMS oil is that their pour point is better in the cold weather it's going to have a better flow and uh, where I live it does go down to zero degrees so I want to have a good cold start and not have to worry about the engine not getting lubrication here's the oil test results for 10,000 miles on the oil and starting to get a little bit into yellow could, could have still went you know quite a bit longer on it and then see the details here basically everything is fine on the wear metals contamination that's not a big deal it's the uh, base number that you really care about on these tests because the oils have properties of detergents, de, um, dispersants, and uh, you still the, looking at the base number basically tells you how much you had left. So at 2,500, I had 5.5, 5, 5,000 miles, I had three, and then at 10,000 miles, I'm about half on my base number. And uh, and so in, in general, most people have changed the oil when the base number is down to half and uh, you know very everything else is fine you know on it they even do water tests you know there's basically no water in the oil no fuel in the oil viscosity the oil's getting a little thicker not much that's the advantage of the synthetic and uh, so, you know, that's fine. Like you said, it could have went longer on this. Uh, the AMS oil oils have a lot more additives. Or these are these additive uh, components. And the base number is actually calculated from the additives. And uh, so it's not going to be a problem going 20,000 miles on the AMS oil. Well, I hope you liked uh, the video on the uh, oil bypass. Thanks for watching.